A pita. What kind? Chicken. Chicken. Jeremy, I'm really gonna kill you. Like, unless you wanna die. Hi, people of the world. What kind of pita did you get? We said we were gonna get. Um, what kind of pita did you get? We didn't get cookies. I got a. We said we were gonna get a cookie. It was ham and cheese. Ham and cheese pita. And Kaylin and Mickey got a sub. Whoa, you're unrolling too much. I hate sub. Ham and cheese. Oh my. You don't want cheese, take the cheese off. Where is the cheese? And I got a buffalo chicken pita. Oh, it's ripping apart. I like cheese. There we go. Mmm, yum. Let's see. I don't want that cheese. I'll take the cheese. Don't watch this. So it's a beautiful night out tonight. I think it was 13 degrees. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. But, uh,. 13 degrees Celsius. Todd is running around crazy. So I decided I will take down the rest of the Christmas lights. Get them done. And uh, I think we only got a few more to go. We do Christmas up pretty good. We got our Charlie Brown tree. We got to take the lights off of that. And then we have a couple lights on the pillars up there and the christmas ball and then i think that tree there and that tree there but first i'm gonna head over to the neighbors and uh she asked me to help move a dresser so we'll, we'll go see about helping moving this dresser It fits okay. Can't remember from what I did before. This camera up with that. Always have a spotter when you're on the ladder. Okay, so apparently when I put all this stuff on, I use zip ties. Wait, I asked Ty, please take this, put it in the house, and also this, uh, and that, put in the recycling. Can't do it though, kids. Alright, so like I said, I still got that tree to put down. So yeah, to take advantage of the nice days that we get. Um, I think it's supposed to be nice all week actually, so it'll be good. Take this day, clean up a little bit, and the other days hopefully we can just play and have fun. Um, looks like my rock needs some water. Set that there. Uh, side cutters. I remember where I put Maybe they're still back in the garage. So I have a bad habit of putting tools, not putting them back where they belong. Um, I have, I think, about three pairs of side cutters, and really, uh, I can never find any of them. So, um, that's that's on me. 
I'm okay to admit that. Can you tell by my garage that I am well organized with all my tools? But uh, I see them. I see a pair of side cutters. Woo! There they are. Two. Two of them. It's two side cutters. But they're in the garage. Eh. See, that's how I find stuff. I know where I usually leave them lying around, so I can grab them. This is a lot of work that I got to do um, to this place outside. We got our ease trough. It's all broken down. Fell from all the way up there. That's on the list. We got our, uh, oh, what do you call that? Not fencing, but whatever it's called. I got to put that back up. Um, want to run the electrical out there I also want more electric uh, more stuff going out to the garage more electricity going out to the garage so um, I think I'm gonna try and run something out there um, gonna get an electrician in to see if I can just uh, I think they call it a pony back panel or a pony panel um, to the uh, to what we have coming out there that way it'll cost not quite as much but uh, yeah I'll get that hopefully it won't cost as much to do the the pony panel and uh, get that done and then uh, go back to um, you know I can get other stuff done too but if it's gonna cost too much what I might have to do is take the uh, dig up a whole trench uh, all up to code and run some run the proper wiring and casing and stuff all the way through there um, and that's gonna cost a little bit more um, and take longer as well so that's the plan for the summer um, I would also like to get a couple more outlets out to the front here um, and maybe get some of this foundation fixed up a little bit but uh, but the thing is, is like Christmas, I run a couple extension cords from the back to the front and it'd be nice just to plug them all in from here. I also have a couple of outlets up there that go in and, uh, and I could use those as well, but it's just not as good. So I got those off. I think, uh, maybe we'll go with Charlie Brown tree. Yeah, I'm really procrastinating. <laughs> I'm really, really procrastinating on those two trees because I actually have to climb up in them a little bit. And I I hate doing that. I do it every year and it sucks. It's, it just scares me. I, one of these times, a branch, I'm going to grab one. Especially that tree there. It's, it's pretty much dead. It's rotted on the inside. And uh, just every time I go up there, I, every branch I grab onto, it's it's not the safest thing let's just say that so so please don't do what i do use safety use caution so i'm gonna put this here So I'm just trying to, I'm only using a GoPro Hero 3. I'm not using any other kind of camera. So I don't even know what it looks like when I'm talking, but hopefully it's pretty decent. How's that angle? I think maybe up a little bit like that. I eventually will get a better camera, I promise. Thick. Try this, only needs to go up a little bit. That's on an angle. Let's try that. I should do. Okay, I'm gonna go up there. Maybe I'll maybe I'll come grab this and bring it up, but I'm gonna go up there. Alright, so told you guys how nervous I get trying to climb up there and do the stuff. <laughs> That's without a camera. So why not try it with a camera, eh? See how this goes. Oh, wait. It's like hollow in there. Oh. 
It's a mushroom. Mushroom growing on the tree. I've never seen that. I've seen them down low. I've only seen mushrooms down low, but I've never seen them up that high. Okay. So I'm almost off the ladder. Okay, I'm off the ladder now. Getting up to the top. Oh, I didn't realize. I thought maybe there, but no, up there. So I am definitely going to set this camera down somewhere. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. all See, the really stupid thing about this is, is that these lights weren't even on halfway through the, the last half because uh, squirrels like to eat. You see here, that's repairs from from the previous year, but squirrels like to come and chew my wires, and uh, and they chewed some, and it was too. Uh, the snow was too much to come out and uh, fix them out here, so I just unplugged them, and I didn't have them even going for the second half of of uh, the season. So, so it's kind of pointless to even put them up here. This tree hopefully will be gone this summer too. So. Now I get down. Oh, that is not sturdy. Not a good position. Back on solid ground. Just these little guys to go. Oh. You tell what I mean by sketchy. I know uh, Arbitress, those guys, they're crazy. They're, they got the proper uh, tool and stuff. It's one thing I know, it doesn't matter uh, how hard a job is or how easy a job is. You can always make it harder by not having the right tools or easier by having the right tools.
she really hates that. Oh. Okay, so I got all the Christmas decorations down. This porch needs to be swept though, look at it. Uh, that's from our Christmas tree, dragging it out. All the snow's melted and you just see how gross everything really is all year. You neglect. Neglect outside because it's, uh, you neglect outside because it's, uh, oh, it's just too cold. But, uh, you know, you get out there, you do your shoveling. Snow covers everything up, makes everything look beautiful. And then, uh, and then the, the spring comes, even though it's not spring, hopefully we still get more snow, but spring comes and everything melts and everything's disgusting again. So the uh, kids today, like you, Ty, kids today, they got uh, they got so many toys, you know, little go-karts, pedal go-karts, stuff like that. Um, stuff that I never had as a kid. I know, like, my biggest favorite toy probably uh, that was anything like that outdoorsy. Um, I remember getting uh, those pogo balls. I don't know if you guys ever remember them, but they're like a, uh, they're like a, like a red dodgeball type thing, but they had like this plastic ring around it that you stood on it and put your feet up against the ball and then you just oh bounce. Oh God, they still have that thing at they the death trap. They still have those death trap. Death I remember trap. those were one of my favorite. My roller blades, they were one of my, uh, another one of my favorites. In the wintertime, GT snow racers. And you gotta take the brakes off of them. You can't have the brakes on a GT snow racer or else you were a wuss. But uh, yeah, the, uh, those, those were probably my three favorite uh, toys growing up. I always wanted Power Wheels, but, uh, you know, we couldn't afford the Power Wheels, but that's okay. What's a um, Power Wheel? Power Wheels, like your BMW that you have. BMW Power oh, Wheels. Oh, that thing. Three it's, years old, he got one. It's broken, though. It you know, that, that's the way it goes, though. When we're younger, all the stuff that we want that we couldn't have, when we get older and we have kids, we give them what we couldn't have, right? That's that's what it's all about, really. Um, Ty, what are... What are some things that you really like? What are some of your favorite outdoor toys? Um, well, my BMW, I liked it, but the gear broke on it. Yeah. Um, and... Your bike, your bike's your favorite, right? No. No, you hate. Ty doesn't know how to ride a bike without training wheels. Um... Maybe my fault. I tried to push him a little too hard, I think, on getting the training wheels off, and it deterred him from the bike. But uh, I don't know. Maybe this summer. Maybe this summer we'll try. No. We have the training wheels. Well, I think we have the training wheels on them now. Yeah, we do. And maybe you ride around with them on for a little bit and get used to it. And then maybe towards the end of the summer we'll take them off and try without them. Okay. Okay. So maybe that's what we'll try and do. Big question is... What is your favorite outdoor toy? Oh, and I also like trains. Trains. So, Ty and I are going to head upstairs now to play some trains. Go, little Ty, go! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, he's catching them. <laughs> Hurry, put down the brick. Push them. Oh. Oh, oh. Scare Louie, we'll put the bridge down on Scare Louie. God, he's so quick though. He's coming right up! Let's go now! Oh. Drop the bridge, drop the bridge. Okay, kiss. Love you. Love you too. Good night. Good night. Sleep tight.
Don't let the bed bugs bite. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Go <laughs> sleep. Love you. I love you too. Have a good night. What? I really love. I really I love you. I can hear all the water in my belly. Are you going to sleep, Vicky? Are you going to sleep? Can I have a hug and kiss goodnight? Can I have a hug and kiss goodnight, Mick? Mm. Love I you. I love how you're sleeping. You're love here you. shaking her awake. I'm not shaking you awake. All right guys, so we got the kids ready for bed. We are ready for bed. We're just going to uh, watch a little bit of TV and then go to sleep ourselves. I have work tomorrow. Um, so yeah, we were able to clean up the rest of the Christmas lights, get them put away, uh, help the neighbor move in some, uh, some furniture and, uh, and got a little bit of the yard cleaned up a little bit. Um, still got lots more to do. Played some trains with the kids, well with Ty. Uh, the other two were over at the neighbor's place playing, so uh, got them all ready. So if you like what you see, please subscribe. Please hit that like button. It'll help us out a lot. We really do appreciate it. Have a good night, guys.